Yo lads, what's going on? It's Cryptic TMG. We are back with a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a tier list for the GT3 cars on ACC, but we're going to be doing them with the custom BOP applied that we are using in LFM and AOR and some other leagues as well. But if you guys don't know at the moment, a lot of the top leagues are using a custom BOP just because the BOP on ACC wasn't great. So now, you know, the cars are in a different place. The order's probably in a different place than it was previously so let's get stuck into the video man and see where we can place all these cars so let's get started man um first car is the old mclaren 720 um still probably i don't know i haven't really seen many people drive it because obviously the newer evo is out and most people drive that because it's just better to drive but i'm gonna stick it in for now um I don't think it can't be saved. I think you could probably make it competitive. I'm going to stick it in. Needs a buff for now. Um, I haven't really seen anybody drive it, so we don't know that for sure. But, you know, I, I do think there's probably a few cars quicker than it at the moment. Um, let's move on to the Nissan GTR. Again, I haven't really seen anybody driving it. I do remember I used to have a decent BOP around, um, was it Laguna? I think it was Laguna uh but over a calendar is this a viable option um are, are you ever going to be able to challenge for a win with a gtr i doubt it i'm gonna stick it in it cannot be saved right now <laughs> it can't be saved and do you know what i'm gonna put the lexus in the same boat i am um i don't really see anybody trying to really use these cars man Maybe if we got some demons in the car, then maybe we could get it up slightly higher. But I don't think the Lexus or the GTR could be anything better than just a, a decent car on the game. So I'm going to stick them in. Can't be saved. Obviously, with the ballast only going to minus 40 kg, I think there's only so much you can do for a car that's just off the pace. All right. So um, I'm going to stick them to right at the bottom. Next, we've got the lamborghini evo which is the, the older lambo not the evo 2 again probably i'm gonna stick it in needs a buff for the simple reason i thought that it always needed a buff <laughs> okay i always thought this car was just i don't know out of all the out of the lambos the original lambo and the evo 2 were both nice to drive i've always thought that the lamborghini evo was a pile of crap i've never liked that car um it's a shame really but for me i'm a stick it needs a buff on the nsx evo i've seen i can't remember the guy's name but i've seen someone doing decent times i've seen someone doing decent times in this car i'd like to see a lot more people in it and that way we can have you know another manufacturer at the front i'm personally gonna go for decent i think it's got potential probably above the old mclaren and the lambo so i'm gonna stick it in decent um need need a bigger sample size though really need more people to jump in it man you guys stop being stop hogging all the stop hogging all the, the new cars man jump in some old stuff bentley you guys know my relationship with this bentley you know you know how i feel about a bentley um I think see the Bentley's a weird one right because at most tracks it's minus 40 so on the tracks where it was decent or decent enough it can sometimes go into top tier especially when it comes to race pace a lot of the time it can be in very fast but I think that the base BOP of this car over a whole calendar I think is decent to very fast like in between but I'm going to stick it in decent because I feel like most people won't be able to get the maximum out of the Bentley. Maybe the aliens, but most people will find it decent at best, which is probably why, again, you're not going to see a ton of people using it. Um, the Porsche 991. Again, no one uses it because the newer Porsche is just better um 
I'm also stick this in needs a buff. And I believe both of these cars were faster than the Lambo Evo. Maybe the Porsche. Oh, it was close. These two cars are very quick on their day. But um, I'm going to stick them right there. Now, interesting. This one is interesting. The Ferrari 488. In Samir's hands at the moment, this car is an absolute monster. So I think, I actually think, we can stick that in very, very fast. Like, on some tracks, it is top tier, but for the most part, it's very fast. And I'm not actually sure which car is the faster between the 296 and the 488. Obviously, we have a lot more people driving the 296, so you could say it's, we've got a much bigger sample size. But from what I've seen in the 488, it looks rapid. Um... The Audi Evo 2. Is it Audi Evo 2? No, it's not a 2, is it? It's just an Audi Evo. Uh, oh no, it is a 2. I could have put the older Audi in there, but no one's driven that for absolutely ages. So, Audi Evo 2, we're going to... This car's been so heavily BOP'd, man. You know what? I'm going to pull it in. It needs a buff. And because... Because let's 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 keep it real. It was like OP before the custom BOP, like way too fast. So it had to be BOP pretty heavily. And even if you can get the fast lap times, like can the tires survive against the other cars now? Running like extra 40 kgs, you're absolutely mullering tires, man. So it kind like it kind of need it kind of needs a buff again, but kind of doesn't. It's it's weird, but again, a lot of people are not driving it because perhaps the, the race experience is not favorable. So you could say technically it needs a buff. Now, I'm not saying it's slower over a lap than these two cars, but over a race, I think you might struggle in that in that in that Audi at the moment. AMG. God, I haven't driven this car in a while. I'm gonna put the AMG and very fast maybe right at the back of very fast um again not too many people driving it it's what i will say about the amg is base is base speed is probably higher than the bentley um probably doesn't have as good as bop as the bentley does because the bentley is literally like minus 40 kg everywhere but i believe Probably the Merc has got more potential, man. So I think it's very fast. Um, very close with the Bentley, but I still think it has more positives. You know, I think it's probably faster over one lap. The Bentley is either good at a track or it's not. And when it's not good at a track in qualifying, even if you're like three temps off in the kind of fields that, you know, the top guys racing, if you're three temps off, that can literally be like... 20 positions man look look what happened to me at in aor at kota i was doing 2045s which would have been around about a top 10 i ended up doing a 20 no yeah i was doing 2045s which would have been top 10 i ended up doing a 2048 in quali and ended up like 27th so that you know the the gaps are very very small so in quali i believe the amg has the bentley's number um BMW. Now, some people might say this car is decent, and I do think it's decent, but I think it needs a buff, man. Because, hear me out, you don't see anybody winning races in a BMW. You don't really see the BMW even competing for wins anymore. So, even though it's probably similar level to maybe the NSX and the Bentley, I personally think it needs a buff. Because... We should be looking at the BMW in the top tier with the other top tier cars, man. I'm not saying that it's this much slower. It's more about the raceability and where it is in the pecking order to where I think it should be. I think it should be a top tier car. So for me, it needs a buff. Just like I think the Audi should be a top tier car. So for me, it needs a buff. Even if they are theoretically maybe the same similar pace to the Bentley or the NSX. Um... 
Yeah, so for me, BMW, Audi, definitely need a buff. The Lambo Evo 2. Sheesh. Let's just stick that in top tier right now. Especially with this zero TC phenomenon, it seen, seems, seems to gain quite a lot from that. So um, I'm going to stick that in top tier. You know, uh, seeing it in AOR on Monday, seeing Luke Whitehead literally get binned be facing backwards in last place, come through the field, get binned again, come through the field again, and still be within six seconds of the leader before he got binned for the third time, knowing that this guy literally could have won the race from being binned and being spun out at the back of the field. was kind of insane, man. So it's definitely got pace, particularly in the, in the right hands. Um, the Ferrari 296... I'm going to stick this in very fast. I'm not sure if the 296 is top tier right now. It's got a lot of ballast at a lot of the tracks that we go to. So, you know, it's taken some away. I, I still believe in terms of like one lap pace it's up there. But in a race at the moment, I, I think there are cars that are just slightly better in race trim than the Ferrari. But it's definitely up there. Um... I'm going to say Porsche 992. This is a tough one because, you know, some people that can drive the Porsche can do amazing things. But for the general public, is it top tier right now, man? Um, I've seen some insane performances from Luke Whitehead in the, in the Porsche, but he was under pressure the whole race. I think it was was it last week the pro series uh, around donnington he managed to get the win but you could tell that the porsche was not the quickest car on the day and i haven't seen too many other tracks where the porsche is the quickest car on the day um it's kind of in the same sort of boat as the ferrari it's got the one lap speed but i'm not sure that it is as good as the other cars overall in a race but it's, it still does have, definitely does have its, its, its fast tracks where it's rapid. It still can get pole positions in the right hands. But I don't know if, if it's the full package like some of the other cars. This is tough, man. This is tough. Maybe what I'll do is I'll stick these two at the back of top tier right now. I'd even say the Ferrari, maybe. Oh, this is actually pretty tough, man. That's tough. Aston, oi, right now, top tier. Right now, for me, I think that Aston is probably one of the best, if not the best, car in race trim. In quality, I think it's a little bit off in quality, if, I, if I'm honest, but in race trim, bro, they just come through. The Aston's just come through the pack, and it's happening pretty much every track right now, so... Particularly as well, if it rains, when it gets a little bit slippery, the Aston's an absolute joke. So for me, the Aston is top tier right now. Easy to drive, um, comfortable, stable. And I guess the only con you could say is probably acceleration. Uh, sometimes the rotation's not great. But for the most part, the Aston is top tier viable, man. For sure. I'm not afraid to say I'm not getting everything out of the Aston when I drive it. Because I can see other people doing a great job with it, so... Um, I'm going to definitely stick the Aston in top tier. The McLaren um, 720S Evo, this is also top tier. I mean, it's been heavily BOP'd around some tracks, and you can see where it's lost a little bit of its pace, but still definitely is one of the faster cars in the game. Um, it's close. Maybe I'll put the Porsche in front of the Ferrari. I don't know. I've, I even think the 296 and the 488, I reckon if we got a bigger sample size, the 488 could probably match the 296 right now. It, it's rapid. That's why I'm kind of thinking, does it belong in very fast, man? Does it belong in very fast? Am I seeing, I'm not seeing too many people win races in the Ferrari with this custom BOP when they're in like real competitive lobbies against other cars, man. So, uh, I don't know. Is this the order that I'm really going with? Is the Lambo really better? than the um mclaren both cars you can get away with running pretty low tc as well um 
Lambo's probably got a little more straight line. This 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 is also like track dependent as well. Um, this is actually hard. It's hard to decide which car is number number one right now. It is very hard. Uh, do you know what? The the top tier, the top two, that is not in order of what I think the order is. I just think they're both rapid. Um, I think that Aston on race pace is equally as good, but just cannot match them in quality. Um, and I think that the Porsche's quality pace is insane, but can't match the others in the race, which is more important when we think about it. So, um, I think this list is good, right? I think the list is good. Let's go back down to the bottom and check um, the Lexus and the Nissan. Yep, again, for me, can't be saved. I think there's only so much you can do when you've got minus 40 kg or plus 40 kg. I do wish they made it a, a bigger so you could go to like minus 80 and plus 80. And then that way, we I think we'll definitely be able to pretty much get every single car into the game um, in the window to be at least half a second off the best and if you can do that i think you've done an amazing job even though i think what they've done already is way better than what we had but things could be tweaked if kuno's just opened it up a little more but it is what it is um needs a buff as i said these cars like the audi and the bmw you might think they should be way higher up and in terms of their actual ability maybe they should be but i believe they need a buff because these two should be up here on a regular you know there should be loads of people in audi loads of people in the bmw lambo all these newer cars everyone should be in the newer cars you know but because the bop is a little bit a little bit skewed because obviously that the, it's hard man it's, it was, it's actually hard to um fix certain things like the audi because it was so much faster it was crazy and then when you add a lot of ballast to it it just kills his tires so it's like even if you're able to get a fast time you're just gonna die in a race so <sighs> what do we think lads what do we think i think that's pretty good man i think that's pretty good um you guys leave your suggestions in the comment section below or you can leave them in discord or whatever um again this is my thoughts my opinion <laughs> it's not it's not cemented or anything like that um but let's see what you guys think for me that is the order i'm gonna go with anyway guys it's cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace if you're a sim racer that struggles with car setups and you want to improve your basic tuning knowledge then head on over to your regional amazon store now where you can purchase my book performance unleashed gt edition also available on kindle get your copy now and i'll see you on track